Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today, I'm going to be attempting to make some pink sauce. If you've been on social media at all, particularly the Tiki Tiki Talks or the Twitter scope world, you may have heard of this. This has been going around, buzz, 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 buzz. And this pink sauce is made by Chef Pie and she is selling it called the pink sauce. It comes in a convenient squeezy bottle. Now this has taken off for a number of reasons. Lots of people have written about it, made videos about it, myself now included, because it just sounds so intriguing and mysterious because there's a lot of things that kind of don't line up, sort of line up, or just created some mystery about it. Now, as any marketer knows, to sell a product, you need to create some kind of need or want or mystery. And I think Chef Pie has done that because every time Chef Pie tastes this, she'll squirt it very liberally, but then there's no chewing, there's no after. It's really tough for a person like me who really wants to know what it tastes like. None of that is there. You're just kind of left hanging. And it is a really smart marketing ploy in the end because you just want to know so the sauce sells for $20 another part of what has made the story take off is that people have ordered this and they've received the sauce and some of the sauces have definitely gone off there's also been a lot of controversy about the nutrition label on the back that it was inaccurate there are typos so I am all about supporting small businesses and I hope that chef P can get this going so that she can actually get her sauce out to people and that people really enjoy it. Today, I'm going to be making a homemade version based on all the threads and things that I've read about it. I'm very curious to see what this flavor combination tastes like. I imagine it to be kind of like an aioli, a kind of garlicky mayonnaise. In my refrigerator, I happen to have some pitaya or dragon fruit powder beautiful pink 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 color and i said well then it's kismet i must attempt this recipe but in order for mayonnaise to get that really creamy thick texture and that opaque white color there needs to be an emulsifier which often is an egg yolk or an egg now an egg yolk contains fat the little beads of fat and what the emulsifier does you can also use something like mustard it suspends those little droplets of oil in the water, it suspends them so they kind of float and it creates this really thick, luscious, rich texture and creamy white color, which the pink sauce has and that's what allows it to be pink. We're gonna be adding the dragon fruit powder which is this vibrant hue of pink but when you add that to white, you get this kind of Pepto-Bismol pink, right? So when I was looking at that, I said, well, where's the emulsifier in this recipe? And then I noticed at the bottom of the ingredients list, it says may contain soy or egg in it. And I said, what do you mean by may? And then I read in other parts, Melissa Enchanted on Twitter attempted to make a version and she noticed in one of chef p's videos that there is mayonnaise next to the blender and i said of course now i'm using this particular squeeze bottle of dukes because it is the perfect container to be using to make the pink sauce the pink sauce has this yellow cap and this squeezy bottle the shape of the bottle is more like a heinz ketchup bottle but rather than emptying this out i'm going to be using this bottle instead and let's read the ingredients soybean oil number one egg yolks number two water Vinegar, all the ingredients listed in pink sauce. Salt, paprika, natural flavors, which is probably a little MSG. Calcium disodium EDTA added to protect flavor. There's our preservative. And that's it. Got some water. I've of course got my dragon fruit powder. Quite expensive. I bought this for about $18. A little bit of cooked beet will do the exact same thing. And you'll see brightly pinked hued dishes in Eastern Europe and in Russia. So pink colored foods might be striking and unusual because you haven't seen them, but that doesn't mean they haven't existed before. So nine ounces. So that's about a cup of mayo. Since I'm gonna be repurposing this bottle, I'm gonna empty the rest of the mayo out into a bowl. So to my cup of mayo, I'm going to add some garlic. This is some garlic I just harvested out of my garden and it's the best garlic haul I've ever I've ever grown. It's just wonderful. Look at the size of this garlic. Here's my thumb for reference. I mean, huge, huge, huge. One giant clove of garlic or two normal size cloves. Four tablespoons of honey. 
And I also noticed there were some flecks and little bits in the pink sauce as well. And I'm gonna be using some Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning, and this also has flecks, so. I don't know, one tablespoon of that. For the dragon fruit, I'm gonna start with a quarter teaspoon. We can always add more for color. A few shakes of cayenne for heat. Start with a quarter cup first. Splash of vinegar as well, two tablespoons. And let's give that a buzz. So right away, in terms of consistency, I think we've got it. This color is not very vibrant. So three teaspoons of the dragon fruit powder. Yeah, that's it. Now let's give it a taste. Ah, okay, plenty of garlic. Very garlicky and sweet. It does leave kind of an oily residue in your mouth, but I am just tasting the sauce straight up, you know? And mostly what's in mayonnaise, if you've never made a homemade mayonnaise before, I'll put a link down below to an old gadget I used to make mayonnaise. And from that video, you know that mayonnaise is mostly oil. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more vinegar. So three tablespoons total of vinegar. Got our bottle. Whoa, this got thick while I was sitting here. Alrighty, lovelies, I'm back. I peeled off that label and I actually drew on the bottle and I think it looks so much better, so much more like the real deal. But this is the DIY version and let's go ahead and give this a taste. Through a couple videos, I said that pink sauce should be refrigerated before serving, but I think this has the perfect consistency now that it sat a little bit, a little bit thicker. I think that's the reasoning for the refrigeration from my understanding. At any rate, this is my version, so I'm gonna be tasting it right now. So I've got some chicken tenders here to give this a taste along with my sauce, but let's go ahead and douse it like Chef P does in one of her videos. I hear this is a kind of fetish thing. I learn something new every day. Anyways, let's, let's just try it that way. So I've got my sauce like that, like all over. Itadakimasu. Homemade version is pretty good. If you like a garlicky sauce, this might be for you. It's garlicky, it's rich, it coats your mouth like a ranch dressing would, but it's not as thick. I do think it would be better cold because dressings, I think we have this automatic association with a cool ranch dressing, especially if you've got like a creamy dressing, something cold is something that we have kind of programmed in our minds. But my chicken tenders are warm, dipped into a sauce, whether it's cold or warm, it's really up to you. This would definitely need to be refrigerated. And since it has raw garlic in it and this is homemade, I would say the shelf life of this would be a few days, maybe a week. So this does make quite a lot of it. This is very garlicky. It's got a little spicy kick to it, but not much. If you like it spicier, of course, add more cayenne. The garlic level for me is perfect. Love the fresh garlic, makes it taste fresh and alive. Kind of similar to tomb, but tomb is really intense. I'll put a link down below in case you missed that video, which is an emulsion of oil and garlic. And the garlic actually acts as an emulsifier, but you need a lot of garlic. I think it's pretty well balanced. It is sweet, but not too sweet. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of barbecue sauces are sweet or even Chick-fil-A's original sauce is quite sweet. It's that level of sweetness, but not cloyingly so. Mm-hmm, it's good. Mm-hmm, I like it. All right, my lovely, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, get in touch with me. I get so many wonderful ideas from all of you and love hearing from you. And like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye.